Welcome to Vero Update. It's all about humanity. Happy viewing. How Abakari's death changed the political game in Edo State. A month after the death of Malam Abakari, the peace pact that he weaved between warring political actors in Edo State even while carrying the novel coronavirus in his body has died a natural death. Central to the agreement between Comrade Adams Oshomole and Governor Godwin Obaseki was that Obaseki be allowed a second term, while the attacks and other provocations against Oshomole were to cease. Part of the agreement according to highly confidential sources was that Oshomole should reinstate some of those who were suspended including the Deputy National Chairman, Senator Lawali Shwaibu, and the National Vice Chairman, Northwest, Inua Abdulkadi. Oshomole had practically done all that was expected of him. The only omission was the position of Deputy National Chairman, South which allegedly upon the influence of the Asiwaju Bola Tinubu tendency was left in the hands of Senator Abola Ajimobi. Sources said that it was felt that ceding the position to Ekiti State as demanded by the anti-Tinubu forces would have been inimical for the increasingly piercing 2023 project of the former Lagos State Governor. Obaseki who is believed to have been an arrowhead in the campaign to remove Oshomole also seized from his efforts to undermine the national chairman following the agreement. However, a month after the death of Kiari, who was believed to be the pillar behind Obaseki, the peace pact has died with the former chief of staff. It was reflective of that that the Oshomole camp commenced its rehearsal of its internal primary elections to determine who to pick for the internal EPC primary to confront Obaseki. In a sharp response, the Obaseki camp on Thursday brought out its joker with the report on the judicial inquiry into the specialist hospital, Benin which indicted the Oshomole administration. All those things he was doing could not have been possible without Kiari. One source said noting that the two may have crossed paths in the Lagos business district where they both practiced at about the same time in the early 2000s. Obaseki is not expected to get the kind of leverage he got from Kiari from the new chief of staff prof. Ibrahim Gambari who is neither a politician nor a financial expert like Kiari. Obaseki's fate has also not been helped by the death of two of his strong allies, Alhaji Usman Shagadi who was a pillar behind him in Edo North and Francis Usazua, a local political backer of the governor in Benin. Both men died this week. Among the contenders in the Oshomole camp are Pastor Osadie Aiziyamu, Chris Ogemwoni, Dr. Pius Odubu, Major General Charles Ayabe among others. Aiz Yamu has an established structure across the state that can match the governor and that is one factor that is putting him ahead. Another source privy to the developments disclosed that the consensus aspirant is not expected to emerge until about two weeks. The source said that Aiz Yamu is expected to use the two weeks to lobby the fellow aspirants and assuage their ego given that he is a recent joiner to the party. Meanwhile, the determination of the internal APC opposition arising from Kiari's death it was gathered, may have forced the governor's release of the report on the specialist hospital, Benin in which Oshomole's government was indicted for paying 75% of the contract sum as mobilizing against extant provisions. The report is seen as a major albatross for the former governor arising from serial incisive interventions on the issue by the former People's Democratic Party PDP leadership of Chief Dan Orby. Chief Orby had regularly flayed the construction as a cesspool of corruption alleging that what President Muhammadu Buhari commissioned in November 2016 was an empty shell. While the majority of the governors had in the past backed Obaseki in the duel against Oshomole, the increasing strength of Tinubu in the party some say may neutralize some of that support. The PDP was meanwhile, laughing off the crisis in the APC at the weekend. A very prominent chieftain of the party while noting the crisis in the APC said that it was divine retribution for the party that has ruled this state for nearly 12 years. 
You can see that all attempts by the Dangote, the royal fathers, the Kyaris and all to settle Obaseki and Oshomole have not worked. What God is saying that this is the time for the PDP and I can assure you nothing will settle them as God has made them fight for correct government to come. The high party chieftain who had in the past projected the prospect of the PDP welcoming Obaseki to the party in the event he is muscled out of the APC was non-committal on the issue yesterday when the issue was broached signaling that that bridge had been crossed. The situation in the APC was reflective of the crisis in the PDP 12 years ago between Chief Tony Aneni and Senator Oza Heinemann Osunbo that paved way for the accord between the late Aneni and Oshomole that allegedly helped the ouster of Osunbo from power in November 2008. Please like, comment, and share our video. Above all do subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Thank you.